Hello and welcome back to Vortex Games, where we are pumping out mediocre games for a few um, very, you know, excited fans. Actually, we got 255 fans. That's pretty impressive for um, the makers of Kill All Aliens, a mediocre UFO shooter game for the PC. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and raise the bar a bit this time. Um, oh, we can research now. So let's go ahead and generate a game report for Kill All Aliens. Um, our lowest... We, we're setting the bar pretty low, um, which which is never good for a new company. You want to make a footprint that people are going to, you know, they're they're gonna look back on our legacy with with you know re reverence and just you know be so impressed with our with our games. But this is just not what we should be doing. Okay, so action on a PC is is a good combination, but it's not a great combination. Okay, we've got a lot of research points, so we definitely need to research, like, now. Um, we need new uh, topics. We need a game engine eventually. Ooh, a hunting game. Man, I was really hoping for something better than this. Let's go with hunting. So it could be fun. You know, there's a lot of... Uh, we could make one of those games, you know, that you go to a bowling alley, and they've got all those shitty arcade games, and they're all, like, hunting games where you just shoot deer. That's what we want to make. But the lo-fi shit equivalent where everything is just pixely and uh, the sounds are just like, you know, like crunchy, you know, fuzz, like just static noises. So when you shoot a deer, it just goes and that's all it does. You know, you don't hear any bow shot, shot noise. It's just it's just like an old, you know, crappy hunting game. Um, let's go ahead and keep researching. We might as well waste all our points. Alternate history. We already had this one on the other, on the other series. Um, but it's, it's a good one. So we're definitely going to get that. Um, once I'm done scratching my scalp. Um, I seem to be suffering from some dandruff today. It's unfortunate. Seems like, uh, all game developers have just horrible dandruff problems. And head lice. Just a combination of both. Head lice love to eat the dandruff, so they just kind of hide out in your head while you work on these games. It's just a sick, sick circle. Music game. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Man, we might as well just keep pumping out these uh, researches of the researchings of uh, new topics until we get something that's really compelling. Um, I don't want to just make our next game be, you know, just whatever. We're already scraping the bottom of the ship barrel with our games. Uh, we don't want to unlock new lows. I think I've never ever actually made a game that is is lower than a, a three average, so I think it'd be all oh, space. That is the ultimate one. We're unlocking the ultimate topic. But I think the challenge would be I'm gonna challenge myself to get a game that is lower than three at some point. Now that's not the overall goal. I'd like to make good games over in general, but I want to see if I can hit complete rock bottom and get a two average game or a one average game i just think that'd be fantastic to be remembered for making like basically the equivalent to et um which is you know a notoriously bad game um made by a guy who was a very very awesome at making games but only had a short you know amount of time to make one so we're gonna kind of do the same deal here except we're gonna kind of do a log game that's phoenix Wright or something type of deal Let's go ahead and make a new game. Uh, we got, we got a, you know, we've been depressed, eating lots of hot pockets and um, Twinkies and uh, Hostess cupcakes, sitting on the couch watching Netflix. Um, ever since our last game was kind of a flop, so we need to get back out there and make a really kick-ass game. So we're going to make a space, a space adventure, a space action game. For the, yeah, we're totally going, oh, I'm so afraid of doing this, because look, our cash is very low because I've been wasting so much time, and we're just paying the bills and losing all this money, and the licensing cost is so high, I'm kind of afraid to do that, so we're going to do this, and uh, make a space action game. Um, the reason why I want to do this is because I just feel like we need to make that, you know, iconic sort of, um, you know, uh, just... I don't know, I'm trying to think of a game similar to it, but, but yeah, we're gonna call it, um, Star Horse, um, you know, because we're gonna cash in on, on the Star Wars craze, and people, you know, Grandma is gonna go out looking for something for little Timmy, 
and uh, she's gonna say, "Oh, I just love, I love Timmy so much, but I don't know what to get him." And then she'll be, you know, in the in the computer game section, and she'll she'll look over and she'll see Star Wars, which is our game, and um, it has box art that is a complete rip off of Star Wars. It has like a like a dog like photoshopped with a man, and she'll think it's Chewbacca, and she'll see like a guy who looks vaguely like Luke Skywalker, and um, you know she doesn't know the difference between whores and wars. Um, it's pronounced about the same, so sh- she'll buy that and. Um, She'll get that for for Timmy, and Timmy will grow up knowing Star Wars on the PC, and that will be like his childhood. He'll be so nostalgic for Star Wars. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what we're going for. We want to make dreams uh, happen for these children um, with these amazing action games that they can grow up playing and learning about the world. Dialogues all the way down. AI about there. There we go. This is going to be one horror of a game. Seriously. Come on, let's 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 get get the design and technology up there. We really got to Oh, you can start to gain insights, okay? Yeah, I understand that. I just Okay, so here's one right here. So sound is definitely important. World design no, and then graphics I guess are less important than sound. That seems weird. I think that was a dumb idea. I need to keep the graphics up. Oh well, at least our sound on this game will be ridiculous. The sounds will be, you know, they will range from, you know, just your average uh, white noise to a slightly lower pitched white noise um, with a different, you know, sort of sound to it. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups. So now we can research target audience and we will, we could have specifically targeted Timmy um, instead of his grandma, but we're just gonna have to sort of rely on, um, you know, our own merit as game. Oh, new record, 13-13, awesome. New combo, new topic, leveling up like a boss. Holy fucking shit, look at this. Look at this. Level up, level up. We are just fucking, oh, oh my god, level two. We're leveling up like, like beasts. So, uh, oh. That's not what I meant. Let's do research. And we will... No, what am I... What the fuck am I doing? I want to do a... Oh, we can't until we get our first review. So I guess while that's happening, we can sort of research target audience. Because I think that'll really help us. Oh boy, here's Star Wars review. Okay. I'm ready for this. Beautiful. Oh, Star Games. Of course they love it. Nine, almost perfect. Oh my fucking god, this isn't. Oh, this is so exciting. Nice experience. Okay, there's a quite a quite a difference there. Holy shit, I thought we were gonna get a ten. All games gave us a nine. Star Wars is the game of the century, or at least of the decade. Following the massive success of. Oh, I thought this was gonna be about Star Wars, but it's just about the TES. Oh man. I am pumped now. I had no idea that Star Wars was going to be such a smash success. Rank number seven. Oh my god. This is just insane. I think we just put Vortex Games on the map. So yeah, things are looking up after our, you know, horrible, uh, horrible games that we've been making beforehand. Just absolutely uninspired, uh, generic pieces of shit that you could, you know, find at any bargain bin at uh, the dollar store. Now we're making top-notch AAA games for just, you know, just just the highest, highest rate uh, consumer. I'm looking for the classiest star, star, uh, you know, space action game they can get their hands on. Um, let's see, what can we research here? What do we got? Uh, let's do a hospital, hospital game. Not really interested in making a law game. No. Oh. Don't want to invest in Sega or Vega or whatever the fuck they're called. Okay, so Star Wars is just pulling in the cash, and we have so many fans now. Okay, let's see. Let's check out our contract work. I'm kind of interested in what we can do. I'm, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be something we can handle. Um, Hillary had a very hard time. I, obviously, she wasn't cut out for this shit, but she had a hard time uh, not scratching her head. Let's set up some computers. That's something. Wow, we sold a lot with Star Horse. Wow, I think we got this. 
as long as I don't... Yeah, we did it! Man, I must be really good at setting up computers. I didn't even have to stand up. I just sat down, hands on the keyboard, plugged in computers with telekinesis. It's great. Uh, contract work, let's just keep it going. Um, game backdrops, that seems like a lot of work for a short amount of time. That is, that is kind of scary. I don't think I can handle either one of those, so we are going to go ahead and develop a new game. Very cool. Target audience. Right. Okay, so, uh, let's see. What do we want to make? That's the real question here. Um, I'm thinking a hospital game, a mature hospital simulator. Or strategy? Eh, hospital simulator sounds kind of fun. For the PC. Um, people love, people just love, uh, simulation games. Um, there's something fun about them when they're, especially when they're just really not realistic at all. Um, we're gonna call this, um, we're gonna call this nursing sim you later. And all you do is just kind of take care of patients and do like your, we're gonna make it for everyone. Um, cause nursing is a tough job. So for the people who might not be sure if they want to get into that field, they can try nursing simulator. And, uh, you know, they have to inject people with things and, uh, you know, all the things that nurses have to do. Um, run, you know, dilation things and stuff like that. Oh, engine. I actually don't know. What did I do for simulation? I think engine's a bit higher. Um, uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, let's keep it there. We know graphics is really important. Um... Oh, I said di dilation. I meant dialysis, like blood dialysis. I don't know what the hell I was thinking of. Unless maybe they're a nurse at a uh, at an eye doctor, and so they dilate pupils or something, and they like just puff air into your eyeball to check for glaucoma. That's got to be a fun job. You just puff air into people's eyeballs over and over again. That is, I always hated that as a kid. Um, let's see. We're gonna keep the dialogues down. AI needs to come up quite a bit, and level design coming down. I think that's good yeah but yeah there's just like I don't mind the eye doctor I've had to wear glasses since I was like 11 so I'm pretty used to you know I just could never stand something poking my eye like putting in contacts so the puff of air thing for the glaucoma test that was that was not very fun it always seemed to mess me up okay sound and graphics and world design that looks good Let's keep this going. We only have a short amount of time before our, our we reach our deadline for Nursing Simulator. Man, a lot of fucking bugs for this game. Come on. Oh, we gotta reach new boundaries. 13, 13. Let's go ahead and push. Oh, I just want to wait and see if he'll make, you know, make a new record. But for some reason... Oh, I think we got a new record for design. So that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and ship this thing. Right? Oh, new record for both. I don't know how that works. I thought the new record, I guess, maybe for a different combo. Like, it counts as a new record or something? I'm not sure. Okay, so... What can we research now? New topic. Spy. Okay, let's just wait for the, uh, the review to roll in. Nursing Simulator is going to be just fucking fantastic. I have this feeling. Very enjoyable. Yes! Fuck yeah! Played it for days. Yeah, you did. You just couldn't get enough of Nursing Simulator. 888. Eight, eight. Let's go for another 8. Oh, fuck yeah. 8s. 4 8s. Crazy 8s. We would have just won Crazy 8s, I think. I haven't played that game forever, but holy shit, we just got all 8s. That is just amazing. Man, the critics just love us. They just eat up our shit. That sounded kind of weird. They just eat our games up like, like delicious noms. They just can't get enough of our fucking amazing PC games. Because we're basically, you know, PC PC only right now. We're PC uh, specific. But we're going to branch out. We're going to branch out more. Maybe not go console. Um, unless we have to. Or we feel we need to. But, man, we're getting lots of fans now. Still, though, only 9 fans for every 10,000. 12 fans per 10,000 sales. 9 fans for 8,000 sales. That's just... That's bloody weird. I don't understand how the fuck that works. Like, think about it. 2,000 people play the game. Two of them become a fan of the company, or even of the game itself. 
So like you're telling me no one enjoyed it enough to even think about purchasing our game in the future. That's just absolutely fucking bonkers. Just doesn't seem right to me. All right, let's generate a game report um, for that fucking amazing game. Uh, next time we're gonna just, I guess we're just gonna keep going down this path, you know? We're gonna make great PC games, slowly pull ourselves out of the mud like we were already doing, and um, we're going to just fucking make the best games ever known. Um, and hopefully we're gonna make a, uh, make a game that also, you know, sort of, you know, I want to at least make a game, one game that is so bad that it's, you know, recorded in history forever. And hopefully it's for the N64. So, uh, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll have more Game Dev Tycoon soon. Bye bye